I'd like to uh, now introduce the executive director of the Lorain County Office on Aging, uh, Rita Campbell. Rita, please step up. Well, I have to say, um, I've been thinking about this opportunity to talk with you, and I would be amiss to not tell you that you are all my heroes. You have no idea how much what you do in your heart and how you give and how you spread the word about hunger, what it means to the Office on Aging and all the older adults in Lorain County. We uh, serve in some way or another about 10,000 older adults every year. And what we are finding is that the number one issue that people seem to be bringing up over and over is food insecurity. And that is the number one issue for the nation, for our older adults, as well as Lorain County. So we have several food programs um, to be able to assist and supplement as we can. And uh, we have three food banks. One is in Sheffield Lake at our Northeast office. Enough. There's two that are at our central office in Elyria. One is a general emergency food pantry, and the other one is for grandparents taking care of grandchildren. We have about 20,000 kids on our roster there that will uh, track with all the way until they turn 18 that are in our program. And so they come every month, and they, it's a choice pantry, and they select what they think the kids will eat. And sometimes the kids come with them and they're very excited. They're happy to be there. They know that they're supported. And uh, it's really, really a big, huge gift to be able to do that because many times grandparents um, are not prepared to be taking care of their grandchildren, but yet because the parents are either you know, incarcerated or perhaps unavailable for other reasons, um, they're just on Social Security. And you have all these kids, and they're hungry, and they eat, and they eat, and they eat. So um, they really appreciate the assistance. So thank you, Second Harvest, for that. I wanted to tell you uh, one little story about someone that's real special to us. She's one of our clients, and her name's Betty. And she's in her mid-80s and a widow. Her husband died very early, um, like 30 years ago. So she's receiving Social Security, and it's um, $840 a month is what she lives on. So she had some children, and her one adult daughter had a really severe medical issue that made her severely disabled. And she's living with her mom, so Anne is living with Betty, and Betty's taking care of the both of them. So combined, their income on disability and social security is less than $1,600 a month. And they just are not able to make it. There's a lot of medical bills and equipment and such that uh, Ann needs, and it's just very difficult. So they've told us over and over again, uh, Betty has, how much this uh, senior food box, I, I didn't mention we have a senior food box program through the blessing of Second Harvest where Older adults can get about 40 pounds of food every single month. And uh, they just are so incredibly grateful for that. But this is the, I guess maybe just a, an example of what's happening to our seniors that are on Social Security. The majority of the folks that we help at our office that are calling, the average income is about $1,300 per individual. And when you are 60 years old, and if you need food stamps, which is now called SNAP, you know, it starts at $16 a month. So we're in a place now where folks are having to choose between, well, I mean, can you imagine not getting your grandchildren any Christmas gifts? You know, can you imagine not being able to afford the insurance on your car anymore? Can you imagine now you can't buy toothpaste? And then it just goes on and on and on. And we do know, and there's many statistics, you know, and I, I won't share them right now, but it does affect a person's health with these chronic illnesses. And so they don't eat well, they may not be buying their prescriptions, then there's chronic illnesses, then there's hospitalizations, and then there's depression. So for whatever reason, I am just saying that this is so serious in a person's life when they're an older adult 
I, you know, it's it it really is um, grievous, really, really grievous. And I have to say that when we feed someone, it's more than the tangible food, but we are we are speaking to their spirit and soul that you matter, that you have a name, that your life is worth it, that we care about you, that you are not alone. I cannot tell you that that piece that comes along with every senior food box we get from Second Harvest or when we get our orders in for our emergency food bank, this is what all of you are giving to us. And I thank you so, so much for that.